All right, good afternoon, everyone. My name is Michael. I'm an admissions counselor at Grand Valley. And what I basically do is I meet with departments to get information and provide y'all. I also read applications and I'll be hosting this session. So if you do have any admissions related questions or any questions specific to this session, which is the School of Computing Information Systems, uh, at the bottom of your Zoom toolbar, there, there's a Q&A option. If you have any questions right now or during the session or at the end, feel free to type them in there and, and me and, um, and who I will be introducing right now in a bit will go ahead and answer those questions for you. Uh, but again, thank you for joining this session, the School of Computing and Information Systems. Uh, I do want to welcome who's going to be running it, which is uh, Paul Leide. He is the School of Computer Information Systems Director and is also a professor within the school. So, Professor, feel free to take the floor. All right. Thank you, Michael. And I'm glad to have the opportunity to share a little bit about the programs that we offer in the School of Computing. And we have a wide range of programs a little bit about the way we operate and our philosophy, the faculty that we have. And uh, hopefully we'll generate some questions that you hadn't thought about. And we'd be happy to have you contact us uh, and ask us for more information if we didn't answer those for you. So let me just share a little bit of some background about our program. You know, everybody likes to brag and say uh, what they think uh, about their program. So I'll start by talking about what other people outside of Grand Valley have said about uh, our program. Uh, for a few years, we were number one in the country. We're still number one in the Great Lakes region when it comes to the best uh, buy for the money when it comes to computing and information systems programs. And so we're very proud of the fact that not only do we have very uh, highly regarded academic programs and facilities and places for you to come, but it's also at a very affordable uh, level as well. So let me start because some of you may not uh, have totally made up your mind about what you want to major in and what your future is as a career standpoint. So let me just start by sharing some reasons that you actually might choose to major in a, one of our computing uh, disciplines. And that is that computing has become very critical to almost every discipline and career out there that expertise in some computing fields like programming or data analytics or security are becoming necessary uh, in your field, regardless of what that is. And so starting either majoring in computing or starting and taking some computing courses to add to your program is going to be uh, very good advice uh, that, that we hope you are able to take advantage of. A career in computing itself, if you were to get a major in one of our computing areas and go out into, into the field, you know, obviously it pays well. There are tons of jobs available. You, uh, you have, you know, almost no problem finding jobs in whatever geography that you want to go work in, especially with the remote work environment that has become popular or required. Uh, these are the kinds of jobs that you can do from um, many parts of, of the country. So why specifically study computing at Grand Valley? First, within the School of Computing, computing is an umbrella term that we use to define and include many different computing areas. A lot of people are only familiar with, let's say, computer science or one of the other uh, fields, but computing is the, the general term that uh, includes here at Grand Valley four undergraduate bachelor's degrees and four master's level uh, programs. Everybody has, says they have small classrooms. Uh, I'll show you some pictures here in a little bit. And we literally have small classrooms because we use rooms that uh, are limited in what can fit. And therefore the instructor uh, is always going to be one of our full-time faculty members. Um, the majority of our faculty have PhDs in the area that they will be teaching. And so you're going to get the, the qualified full-time faculty person teaching your class with a handful of students so that you get to know the instructor and the instructor actually gets to know more about you and what it is that you need. One of our strongest strengths is our internship with uh, in industry partners who sponsor students to do an internship. Uh, I'll jump down to number six. They also follow up with our capstone experiences where we use industry projects that the employer will sponsor uh, a project that needs to be done. And we'll put a team of Grand Valley students working together on that capstone course. Both internships and capstone courses 
are required for all of our degrees in the School of Computing. So if you were to come uh, major in one of our disciplines, you will get a lot of hands-on experience, some real world industry-based uh, projects that you'll get to work on uh, and experience with employers, which is gonna set you up uh, for a career. Most of those employers view these opportunities as a long-term interview that goes in both directions, giving you a chance to get to know the employer, if that where you wanna work and vice versa, if, it's, if they get a chance to see if you're someone uh, that they want to make an offer to uh, for a career. We have uh, great facilities. Uh, and again, I said, we'll have a, a couple photos here and I can explain that. Um, and our programs are accredited uh, by ABET, which is the accrediting body for computing programs. So this screen shows you the wide range of inter interrelated programs, either in the School of Computing or a sister school, the School of Engineering, both under the Patnos College of Engineering and Computing. So you can start uh, on the left of the screen, for example, is more hardware related, electrical engineering uh, offered in the School of Engineering. Also computer engineering, which the School of Computing provides courses and we cooperate on that program. And then the four bachelor's programs that we offer uh, in the School of Computing, one is the one most people are familiar with and that's computer science, which is uh, if I would describe it more as the uh, theory and uh, algorithmic function, uh, fundamentals uh, to optimize and work with computing. So working with stuff like high performance computing, data mining, machine learning, uh, all the stuff that uh, is needed in many different careers. We have a bachelor's degree in cybersecurity, which obviously with all the news of uh, what's going on, cybersecurity is a very hot field. Information technology, if you enjoy the technology and implementing, managing, supporting, and being that um, key person on keeping an organization's IT running and, and set up properly, that might be the right major for you. Information systems is a field that mixes organizational management needs um, with the computing solutions. And so that is dealing more with the organizations and people uh, setting up the correct solutions for those organizational needs. The nice thing about having this wide variety of programs in our school is that we have the same faculty that teach their specialties across these programs. Uh, you share some courses, and so working together with majors in different areas to learn the, the course topic from a different flavor uh, makes it a much stronger approach. And you have the opportunity of switching. If you start off in one of those majors and then realize that one of the others might be more appropriate, it's much easier than to uh, move between the programs that we offer. So which one of those programs would be right for you? Uh, this is transposed a little bit where we had columns uh, in the other screen. So computer science, cybersecurity, information systems, or information technology. If you really like being that creative problem solver, um, coming up with a fundamental solution for a, a very tough computing challenge, then that's probably going to be computer science. If you are really intrigued by protecting people and data and organizations from an adversary who's trying to uh, break in that security. Again, it's that problem solving outside of the box thinking uh, to ensure the integrity and the, and the confidentiality of data to protect those systems. And cybersecurity uh, is also in a, in a very high demand field. Um, as I mentioned earlier, the information systems, if you like setting up and designing systems that solve organizational and management needs, then we have the information systems and information technology of, of setting up, analyzing and maintaining those systems that focuses more on the technology, whereas information systems is more as the management systems viewpoint. Here is a list of some of those employers. I mentioned that we are very industry um, integrated. This is simply a list of companies that in the previous semester or year have sponsored either capstone projects, internships of students, or have provided projects for us to use. This is a ongoing changing list. And so I don't put this up here as an exhaustive list, but this is simply a screen capture of uh, all the companies that are currently supporting and working with our students. It's a big list. 
You'll notice some very large companies that many of you are familiar with. They're well-known companies. And then others are very small uh, boutique shops that um, have a niche in computing and software development. Some of them are startups and give you an opportunity to be early in the game uh, of helping to design those systems. So I mentioned our facilities. Uh, top left is a typical room. That's actually the largest room that we, that we have in the School of Computing available to us. Um, and it looks large, but it only seats 48. We don't have uh, sections that large, but that's a limit. Uh, and therefore, we're not going to be putting you in a tiered lecture hall with somebody droning on with uh, lectures that you then have to try to understand and capture, but you'll be integrating closely with the faculty member. Uh, on the bottom left is uh, an example of one of the labs, classrooms that we call a hybrid room. Um, in the front with the monitors down are desks and work tables that you can set at in a regular lecture style. But then the instructor may say, okay, let's take 10 minutes and see if we can uh, write the line of code that will solve this or see if we can figure out how to address a problem. And then the, the class can pull up the monitors uh, from within the desk and immediately uh, try to work on a solution. On the right side is what you probably are not going to find available to an undergraduate computing student at one of our uh, other choices that you might have. Because we are primarily an undergraduate liberal arts oriented school, our faculty's primary purpose uh, is instruction and teaching. And so we have facilities like this one, which is the networking lab where students get exposure and actually use the same equipment that you'll be using out uh, in the industry. And so it's not gonna be theoretical. Uh, it's not gonna be all simulation. It, you will actually get your hands on equipment so that you will be familiar with working with, with the real computers uh, once you're out uh, and working on them. One of the other strengths we have is a very large and diverse faculty. I know that on this screen, you can't see the faces and names very much uh, to, to hone in on them. But this is simply to show you the breadth. We have 45 full-time faculty in the School of Computing with uh, educational and industry background from a wide range of electrical engineers to software engineers to uh, technology specialists, cybersecurity, uh, cybersecurity experts, data science and analytics uh, faculty. And the beauty of having such a large diverse faculty is that they learn from each other uh, they share with each other um, strengths that then can be used across the curriculum, and you would have exposure to many of those. So the wide, diverse uh, faculty that we have with a very strong background, not just with academic training, but bringing in industry experience is something that you will benefit from. We benefit as faculty uh, from that expertise and having people with a wide range of backgrounds uh, academically. Uh, that help us become a much stronger faculty than what we would have with a much smaller select group. When we talk about being student-centered, we committed a long time ago to put our best instructors into our key courses. If you don't get the fundamentals in your early courses, you're probably going to struggle throughout your time here at Grand Valley. So we try to make sure that you get a really good start uh, to your academics uh, in the School of Computing. We've created a CIS Student Success Center. Uh, that's what this picture is. There's no one there in, in the photo, but uh, it's a place where you can come and schedule times where faculty who teach the course commit to being there to answer questions, to help you if you're struggling with coming up with a solution to the problem. And even more important, if you don't even know what questions to ask, uh, then you're probably not going to call or email your faculty member and say, I don't know what to do. But coming into the Student Success Center and listen to other students ask questions and try to figure out and solve problems is a nice non-threatening uh, way for you to be able to get through some of those tough components that, that we want you to learn. And so uh, that is a commitment that we make to helping you as the student uh, be successful. We also have a professional set of advisors. The Patnos College of Engineering and Computing has a full-time uh, staff of advisors who are available either for walk-ins or sign-ups that you can come and get help with your uh, 
academic schedule, what courses you should take, what major might be appropriate, and to get you started on satisfying the requirements for your degree. We're a secondary admission set of programs, which means you have to be able to succeed in those early courses first and then apply for admission into the major. When you have been admitted into the major, then you will be assigned one of our faculty as your faculty mentor advisor to also give you advice on selecting the right electives, on how to approach employers or which field you probably are better match at. And so we do make ourselves available for you to do that. So our School of Computing programs, as I mentioned, we have multiple programs that leverage the synergies of the faculty. So that faculty that bring, let's say database experience, will teach database to computer science majors, to IS majors, cybersecurity majors, and sometimes in the same class. And what that means is that a computer science major is going to get from Grand Valley, a much more real world applied practical focus on those topics than what they might in other computer science programs. An information student, an information system student uh, is going to get a much more technically full background uh, that you wouldn't in a general information systems program, which is built more on the people, the organizational structures and lacks maybe some of the technical depth that you will get from this program. Uh, we also want to talk about the quality of students. Grand Valley consistently is ranked in the top tier of the top few uh, universities in the state of Michigan when it comes to the GPA, the, the test scores. The quality of students that we have who make it through secondary mission into our program uh, are very good students and they will push you. And we like that because uh, being able to learn among the best helps make you the best and being able to put you in an environment with facilities and the relationships where faculty and students can work together, uh, trying to solve problems that our industry partners are providing or are working with you, uh, really puts you in a good position and therefore makes you in, in a very high demand uh, once you graduate. So I hope I've given you just a quick overview of our programs and what we feel are our strengths, what outside members have also uh, identified as how we are strong and how we compare with the choices that we know that you have. Uh, we would love for you to contact us and ask specific questions or see if we can help explain more about each of the programs if you have uh, specific questions or if we can help you through that. So you can do that either by, by feeling free to email me directly. My email address is there on the screen, Leidig, L-E-I-D-I-G at gvsu.edu, or go to our website, cis.gvsu.edu, uh, hopefully, the information that you wanted to find is on our website, but if not, uh, there is a place that you can uh, post a message and uh, a member of our staff will get back to you uh, as quickly as possible to answer your questions and point you to the right person. And so we encourage you to reach out to us either through our website or via email, and we'll certainly get back to you. So I appreciate you joining us and watching this presentation, and hopefully you'll become a, a Laker soon. Thank you. And thank you all for joining us. And this does conclude this session. However, if you do have any questions, just feel free to type them in the chat and me and uh, Professor uh, uh, Leide can, uh, can answer those questions for y'all. Looks like we don't have any questions, Professor. Uh, so we'll go ahead and conclude this session. As you did mention, Professor, if anyone does have any questions, just feel free to reach out to that email address and we're, we're more than happy to answer those questions. Uh, but thanks y'all again and hopefully you'll have a great day. Thanks y'all. Thanks, Michael.